Inshore Yak TV. I'm Ray, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a bunker snagging rig. So this is all you're going to need for a bunker rig, bunker snagging rig. You got your 50 pound leader, you got your diamond jig, swivel, and three treble hooks. I'm going to tell you why I use 50 pound leader. Um, around these big schools of bunker, you'll get big bull reds or kingfish or Spanish mackerel or bluefish. Now I'm going to tell you, if you get uh, Spanish mackerel, bluefish or king mackerel to hit this 50 pound leader, it's going to cut it. There's no, no if, ands, or buts. You might get lucky and catch it in the corner of the mouth, but more than likely it's going to cut it. But the bull reds, yeah, you can land them on 50 pound uh, full carbon leader for sure. So, without further ado, let's get this thing started. Alright, so, 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. You're going to tie your barrel swivel. You're going to tie this barrel swivel. Okay? Everybody see that? I like to use the uni knot. And this is how you tie a uni knot. Tag in through the swivel. Make a loop back towards the swivel feed that line through the loop four times one two three and four pow just like that cinch it down very very nice clean tough knot very simple to tie okay cut off your tag in like so. You're going to come down about maybe 10, 12 inches. You're going to make a loop. You're going to do, then do an overhand knot. Okay. About 10 inches, 10, 12 inches. Make a loop. Make an overhand knot. Like so. And that's it. Just made your loop. Okay. Next part. We are going to feed this loop through the eye of the treble hook. We're then going to take that loop. We're going to feed it over all of the hooks on the treble hook. And then cinch it down. That's it. Just like that. Okay. Now you're going to come down another 10, 12 inches, make another loop, make another overhand knot, like so. Grab your treble hook, treble hook, feed it through the eye, over all the trebles, cinch it down. Very, very easy rig to make, guys, very easy. And you got your last one. Overhand knot. Like so. Okay, so now you have three treble hooks. One, two, three, and then the swivel. Okay, now you're going to tie on your diamond jig. Just like that. Cut off your tag in. Boom. There's your bunker snagging rig. Now that your entire rig is tied, let's talk about storage. Nothing beats a Ziploc bag. Boom, 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 and boom. And you're ready to go snag some bunker. The thing I will say, don't put more than one rig in the Ziploc bag. They'll definitely get tangled up. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. Um, we'll see you all on the water in a couple couple weeks. Can't wait for that old kind of classic. Y'all go check them out, nckfa.com. 
and sign up. There's still about 25 positions left, so y'all check them out, inshore and offshore. It's going to be a blast. Y'all stay tuned. Peace.